more people are working against the governor of Edo State as much as he is trying to ensure that Edo State get better and everyone is at peace with themselves and also making sure that the state is one of the best states in Nigeria. But unfortunately, it seems that his enemies are more than his friends. And it, you can imagine a, uh, a chairman of one of the local governments that were that was actually uh, alleged of corruption and was removed from office, went ahead to fight against the governor. And guess what happened? It is really a big show because it is not expected of, you know, a country that uh, uh, Nigerians are actually trying to make better. And, uh, you know, fights uh, are, are made in the favor of those people that are corrupt. But of course, the case went ahead to court, and guess what? It wasn't a palatable uh, uh, result at the end of it all. Anyway, more details I'll bring to you shortly. But please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button immediately and also give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get updated anytime we drop a new video and don't forget this is saffron media where we give you trending exciting reliable and authentic happenings this is the best place to be if you want the best you want the greatest updates on news report and everything that has to do with politics in nigeria this is the best place you have to be and don't forget to help us share videos don't forget to help us hit the like button always because that is the best way we know that you are getting updated with our recent videos okay guys without further ado let us dive right into the details of this report as it says that um, an edo state high court sitting in Benin city on friday declares declared an illegal the removal from office of al haji aremio aligame momo as chairman of isako east local government area of edo state the court presided over by justice daniel okungbowa delivered the judgment in suit number b205 2019 momo was removed from office by governor godwin obaseke over alleged corrupt practices in September 2019. But in his judgment, Okungbowa declared the action of the governor as null and void and directed Bomo to be reinstated to office immediately. The judge held that the state government failed to comply with the provisions of Section 20 and 21 of Edo State Local Government Law 2000 as amended in failing to consult with the Edo State House of Assembly as provided by law before suspending Momo. The court further held that since the purported suspension was void in law, every other action predic predicated on it was invalid. The court awarded a sum of 250,000 naira as cost in favor of Momo. The court dismissed the notice of preliminary objection filed by the state government challenging the competence of the suit. The removal of Momo was a fallout of a petition signed by 10 councillors in which they have leveled several allegations of fraud against him. Some of the allegations were that the Momo that the Momo had claimed to have spent 7 million naira on seller gifts as against 2 million naira that was spent and failure to remit 67 million naira collected from truck loading cement from a cement company in Okwela, among others. Reacting to the judgment, Momo said to me, it is a victory for democracy and victory for the people of Asako East and thank the justice who stood without fear or favor to deliver the judgment, not of his interest. I am very happy about it. I will go back and continue to deliver dividends of democracy to the people which I have been doing and I know that I was only victimized because of recent political activities in Edo State, because even the governor may sometimes applauded me. Well, obviously, you can see the allegations that were leveled against the uh, chairman, and yet he still went ahead to court just because uh, the country is a lawless one. And uh, actually, you can see the outcome of that very result that he actually won that case and uh, he was even asked to be given 250,000 naira. But of course, why he was even removed out of office should have been critically looked into because he was 
uh, uh, sent out of office because of corrupt practices that was, uh, you know, uh, found out in his own department and to his constituency because uh, it was reported that even the Momo had claimed to have spent over 7 million naira on Salah gifts as against 2 million naira that was spent. And you can imagine that the case has been in court since September 2019 and this time around he also still won the uh, court case. On what ground can we say this chairman has actually won the case? Because he was alleged of corruption. But of course until someone is proven guilty that is when you can really point a finger to them that indeed that they are really guilty. But of course this time around he has been freed by the court and uh, you know he was also asked uh, to remit 67 million naira collected from truck loading cement from a cement company in Okwela and amongst others so really we do not even know how many other corrupt practices he has been involved with and he is still working on and yet a court case has been you know someone and he won the case the court has heard the case as against the governor and the government of the day and this local government chairman and yet it's still one but all the same you know things like this do not last because of course by 2021 he should have uh, the tenor his tenor should have been over in february 2021 so you just have about a month or so to still remain as the uh, uh, uh as the chairman of okwela but really i wonder why they are still uh, making a lot of noises uh, as working against the governor of the state the governor is actually working and trying everything hard to ensure that the state is at peace and everyone is living well but i wonder why they keep fighting uh, him and fighting against him not to really uh, progress and help the state get better because a lot of comments that i even saw from some idolites i don't know if i can say that these are idolites they were actually congratulating uh the the chairman of the local government and not even seeing the uh, evils that he has done corruption is corruption irrespective of how much you're stealing and how much you have stolen it is called corruption and it should not in any way or in, a or in any level be encouraged whether you are benefiting from it or not you have to speak up so that corruption will stop because we cannot keep blaming the government of the day and individually we cannot even handle little funds we keep you know corrupting the whole system and we blame everything on government it is from the same people that it's that the government is being formed so definitely we should be careful how we celebrate some of those guys that are alleged of corruption irrespective of where and who they are and where they come from well guys you've heard it all thank you so much for listening i really do appreciate you don't forget to drop your comments and also give this video a thumbs up thank you for being here do have a pleasant time bye for now